Philippine eagles are one of the largest raptors in the world. As the crown jewel of Philippine endemic species, the Philippine eagle is one of the most coveted raptor species in terms of birding. Birding meaning um, observing raptors or birds from afar. Uh, Philippine eagles are rare and elusive because there are only 800 Philippine eagles in the entire world and most of them being in Mindanao. So right now we are here in Malagos about to enter the Philippine Eagle Center where this is the only conservation facility in the entire world to have Philippine Eagles. So as such, we are here at Malagos and we are about to enter the Philippine Eagle Center to find some of our captive eagles here in the Philippines. Alright, so now we are finally at the entrance of the only conservation facility in the entire world for Philippine eagles. Well, except for um, the two Philippine eagles in Singapore, which is part of a 10-year loan program with the Singapore government. Anyway, so now let's go look for some Philippine eagles. Okay, but before we proceed to look for Philippine eagles, we have to pay homage to none other than the first ever Philippine Eagle Ambassador, Pag Asa, who was born last 1992, and he was actually the first ever captive-born Philippine Eagle. He helped spark the conservation efforts of the Philippine Eagle and made it known throughout the world. So, sadly, Pag Asa passed away last. January, right before his birthday, his 29th birthday. And as such, he is now here with us as a taxidermist to the video. So, thank you, Pagasa, and we'll see you again someday. Now we are with Mabuhay here, who is the only daughter of Pagasa, who we met earlier. So Mabuhay is a product of second generation cooperative artificial insemination. Meaning her father, um, her father's semen was also used to produce Mabuhay through our cooperative artificial insemination methods of breeding them. So here is Mabuhay and you see this special this moment right here is special because not everybody can be able to see Philippine eagles up close. And Mabuhay here is cooperating with us by flaunting herself here. The Philippine Eagle Center may be the only place where we can easily see or observe Philippine Eagles. But the real aim of the Philippine Eagle Foundation is for the proliferation of the Philippine Eagle species. Meaning, hopefully, that one day we may find such beautiful creatures here in the wild. So imagine hiking along, let's say, um, a, a mountain and then spotting a Philippine eagle with your binoculars. That would be special and that is every birder's dream. So hopefully through your support, um, through watching Nature Talks throughout the year and hopefully supporting us for the following year, you'd be able to contribute to our mission which is the conservation of our Philippine eagles. And hopefully one day, we could see Philippine eagles just like Mabuhay out there in the wild. So thank you for the past 16 episodes and I hope you stick with us for the next season of Nature Talks. Bye!